This was the week where a member of the first family was involved in another incident that really took the pressure off of Hunter. Uh, let me just put it that way. This is what <laughs> happened. And on Monday, the first family's younger dog, Major, was surprised by an unfamiliar person and reacted in a way that resulted in a minor injury to the individual, which was handled by the White House Medical Unit with no further treatment needed. <gasps> wow. The Biden's younger dog, Major Biden, who had yeah. been called out by right wing media for being, quote unquote, gross. a junkyard dog. Gross. <laughs> yes, gr- it's a gross dog. It's a dirty looking dog. Ew, what a dirty dog. Uh, Major bit someone in what appears to be the Secret Service. And let me just say, good instincts, bro. Like, good fucking instincts, okay? Because, like, you know, he's getting to know a new place, blah, blah, blah. It was a warning shot. That bite, yes. he knows. Major was watching the coverage of January 6th. He knows the call is coming from inside the house. Yes. Right? Yes. And, like, if there's one person who can actually hear dog whistles... It's, it's Major Biden. It's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> he was yes. just doing his duty. Um, of course, they're back in Delaware now on a supposedly was a pre pre planned trip for when Jill was away. Other I don't people know are why saying they say that shit. I don't know why they don't just go. We yeah, we had to take the. Uh, this is where I'm always like, why? Why don't you just go? Yeah, the dog it, it bit someone, so we had to put it somewhere else because we don't want to put it down. You know, so like that, I mean, that's the, that's the, 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 and I agree with you, which is what's up with that agent. Dogs just don't do that shit. Dogs don't (laughs) do that. And dogs read people. They know their energy. And, and listen, I'm, you know, I'll say this. I'm a softy in the sense that I have less of a problem with Joe Biden, I think, than a lot of my compatriots. One, because I just accept who he is and I don't expect him to deliver things. I just know he's not going to deliver on certain things. And so it's not like, oh, that's wonderful. But it's like, all right. At the same time, I don't see him as I think sometimes he's depicted as like as as terrible or worse or whatever. Um, But like the dog thing, (laughs) I mean, I would really check that agent out. I personally would say that would be the first thing I would do is that Joe should be like, Jill, we got to check it out. Like, you know, (laughs) we got to find out about that guy. But it does lend itself to the deeper thing, which is that is there this call come from inside the house? Is Mm -hmm. there actually a threat? I think it's probably a little bit more of paranoia and sympathy, uh, sympathetic thinking. Uh, I don't think we are watching 24. I don't I don't think that there's some secret sleeper January 6th agent in the Secret Service. I don't Dude, think that's like, happening. Can you be so sure? They weren't great under <laughs> Obama. Anyway. That's um, true. That is true. All to say the dog will not be euthanized. And I actually do believe the story that they were originally going to go home to Delaware because Jill was away and Jill's the one kind of training them. But there's yes. more important questions um, related to animals in the White House that I'm so glad an intrepid reporter asked uh, White Ho- or Press Secretary Jen Psaki. We heard all about dogs. We were promised a White House cat. What, what happened to that? Where is the cat? Today's a good day for the cat. Um, I don't have any update on the cat. We know the cat will break the internet, uh, but I don't have any update on its status. Okay, Jesus Christ almighty. Yo, the cat's ass is going to be thick. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a thick cat. What if Break they, the internet like Kim Kardashian. What if they did get a cat with like a human ass? Do you think that would be weird? Do you think anyone, they'd be like, do you think that would be the a week of coverage? They'd be like, the cat has a human ass and it has no I hair on it. I don't see it. it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Jen Pasca, that- I mean, she really does like, you know, I, I have two minds. I have the cynical mind, but then I have the mind that sort of appreciates the the bullshit. And I'm like, she's a pretty good bullshitter, man. She's she's yeah. she does a good job of swatting away that that BS and holding the line and delivering her own BS, which, by the way, for all the viewers to know, that's the job of the press secretary. The job of the press secretary is yeah. not to just overtly be truthful with the press. So if you believe that you're naive, that the job is for them. Or to if play you the like game. her, you're supposed to not like her. I remember when she came back, I was like, why do I hate her? And I was like, oh, because she's a press secretary. Right. And they're all bad. Even when they do their job well, they're bad. Uh, yes. But let's be real. I mean, 
compared to Kaylee McEnany, the the North Korean propagandist oh, yeah. of the yeah. Trump administration. Like, you got, I mean, wiping the She floor did a good job for them, though. She did do a good job being a That's propagandist. True. You gotta That's give it, it was, she's a dipshit. I mean, listen, when you look back <laughs> at that, when you look back at that and you realize, and this is not economic, this is about people, trash. When you realize how much trash was in that White House and that COVID event when then they all got COVID. You're just like, what a dirty bunch of people. And anyone that's been a waiter knows trash rich people. You've done, yes. you've done with trash rich people and they, they don't cry. tip. They don't tip. It's so amazing to me um, how so many of them just that should be what we should be most offended about. Is absolutely the, you know, just the garbage, crass classnesses. Give me people who didn't use Jeffrey Epstein, who but used someone higher up in the pyramid we don't even know about. <laughs> I want you know? the queen. I want the queen's <laughs> private plane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you become a patron yet? Patreon.com slash Bituation Room is where you can directly support this show and help me make it sustainable so that I can do more of what I do best. Doing this.